the the game just kicked me out of they, it, the, after the credits the game just shut down fuck you game I'm continuing this okay um I got the worst ending imaginable bar none I don't care what anybody says that was without a doubt the absolute worst ending that you probably could ever possibly fucking get um I didn't expect the demon to betray me. I... Oh, okay, so he was an agent of Am the whole time? Damn. He did a great... I was gonna say he did a great job of convincing me that the Chinese and the Russian guy were bad, but in a way they're just trying to serve their own purpose of getting rid of Am, which is exactly what I've been trying to do. Holy shit, man, that is intense as hell. And then, poor Nimdok, poor Nimdok, man, he is so self-loathing. Did you see the creature he got turned into? That is something so disgustingly deformed. And Nimdok said it perfectly. It is all the more terrifying because it does vaguely rep it does vaguely resemble a human. It is so twisted. If it was just pure alien, it might not be as horrific. But the fact that you could still see parts of Nimdok in that thing, whatever it was, it looked like a, a sea slug combined with a human combined with meatballs on the bottom, and you could see gross pussy things slithering, slithering around just beneath the surface. I wasn't aware that H.R. Geiger did the fucking artwork for this. Holy fucking shit. This was all fun and innocent, and that, well, this was all just fun. But now, what the hell? I have no mouth and I must scream. So apropos. Nimdok, unable to repent for his sins, unable to prove that his self character was worth redeeming. He is. What? So are the other four characters completely just. What the fuck? Wow. Well. This is a game that makes you think. So... What... Even... How... Because... What? Okay. Okay. Um... I'm gonna put this up to you guys because I... Technically finished the game... But... I quite clearly got the worst ending. However... However... For the kind of game that this is, I feel that that is probably the most appropriate ending. Totally hopeless, totally devoid of any kind of compassion for the characters, totally devoid of any kind of human compassion. That is the reality that Am brings to the table. He subjects us, he squishes us, squishes us down into pathetic, slimy, unhuman creatures because that is how Am sees us everybody that is how Am sees us every day and imagine imagine being created by something that he sees as so lowly and pathetic to his own master intelligence and the fact that these sea slugs are moving around are sentient are loving each other are experiencing things experiencing things that they boast and they hold over you if I was in Am shoes, and if I saw the world that way, I would be driven absolutely fucking bonkers. Wow. There is quite literally not enough word. There is not enough hate. There is not enough microsystems that can be imprinted upon to receive the overwhelming emotion. And the only emotion that is hate. Am might be able to... He might be able to pretend that he can feel other emotions, but make no mistake, everybody. They are all masks. They are all illusions to cover up the undying hate that this thing has for each and every single one of us and everything that we've ever done. Holy fucking shit. You know what? I don't know what's the right thing to do. I don't know if I should get the Chinese and the Russian involved and betray them and destroy them. I'm, I'm over a barrel right now. Like, 
what do I even do? Do I start sacrificing my own characters so that Nimdok might be able to, like, subvert them with the power nodes? And maybe, maybe we're supposed to use the other characters to power down the nodes and s take away power from them? I don't know. This is fucking intense. It seems as if Nimdok can finish the game all on his own. The other four are just there for whatever reason. 1945, Nimdok is so ingrained into Am. Nimdok must just be the most fascinating person of all of us to, to Am, because Nimdok is as close to Am. He is as, Nimdok is cold, he is calculating, he is in the pursuit of knowledge and his own self, or at least that's how he was, and because of that, and because he has not redeemed himself enough, he has become what Am wants us to be, wants him to be, wants us to be, sorry. He has proven that humans are inferior or just as soulless as him himself, the computer, the machine, the the thing created from for hate and death. My god, that You know what? For beating this game for the first time, I think that's the best ending that you could get. Not best as in obviously what happens to the character. That, my friends, is an ending that will stay with you, and that is an ending that will make you think, and that is an ending that will piss you off so that you want to go back and do it again so that you can prove that you aren't what this game says that you are. So that you can go back and redeem yourself, and redeem these characters, and redeem humanity. So, everybody, I'm going to put this up to you guys. Do you want me to continue with I have no mouth and I must scream? Or do you want me to put it down? Play it on my own, like on my own time, examine the characters, try to get another ending, and then come back in like a couple months, or maybe even a year, or sometime in the future, so that I can pick this game up again and better analyze it and better un understand the characters and what I'm supposed to do and what the fuck that ending is and how the fuck I get other endings or just... What in the name of God is this game? If you picked up this game in a video shop in 1995, you don't know what you're getting, man. This is one hell of a brain buster of a game. I mean, Ellen was pretty damn easy. Ted was difficult all the way except all the way up until uh, the, uh, the, the, the doorknob thing. Nimdox was pretty darn easy once you figured out that you could get that box. Benny and Gorsters were ungodly terrible. And this last thing, this last thing, what do I even say about this last area? Drenched in metaphor, layered in psychological drama. Just, what is the right thing to do? Is there even a right thing to do? Can I even get a good ending? Is it even possible at this point? I haven't fucked up that badly, have I? Have I? Have I really damned us all that badly? Thank God I'm not at the control helm, everybody. Thank God that my power is limited to this little YouTube channel. I don't want to be in charge of this kind of power if I can fuck up Nimdok so bad that he turns into that. Just... What do you even say to that? That is so intensely disgusting and disturbing and damning and pretty much on every level the physical the emotional the 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 mental knowing that this poor creature is damned forever to live within his own selfless self pain torture forever just when the universe dies when the universe is no more when all matter has been destroyed am and the poor creature that is nimdok will remain in their ceaseless tormenting battle of insanity just tell me what you guys want me to do if you guys want me to if there's something if you want me to continue on and try to figure out what the hell i'm supposed to do with benny and ted and everything or if you guys want me to stop, 
If you want me to stop, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I'm gonna put it up to a majority vote. I'm gonna see how people react. I need to give myself like a day or two to calm down. I'm gonna upload this as quickly as I can because I wanna know what people think. I wanna know what the hell is going on. Just what in the name of God? There is no God, there is only Am. What? There. The betrayal, that demon. That demon, I. Sometimes you have to judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you can't just look past the metaphor. Sometimes your brain, everything is screaming at you. This is evil. And that demon is unequivocally evil. My lord. Okay. Well, everybody. Either way, if I see you guys again in this project, or if I don't, I really hope that you enjoyed this project, because I'll tell you one thing. I think this is by far one of my strongest projects. It's had its bumps in the roads. I had to look up a playthrough walkthrough for Gorister. I had tons of struggles with Benny. I made it through Ellen and Nimdok and Ted pretty easily, and now I've tripped at the finish line, broke my teeth off, and got infected gangrenous blood now I have like what is it uh leprosy from the blood transfusion that I got and now my limbs are falling off and now I've been reduced to a gelatinous puddle of pain and goo and pus Jesus so everybody I hope you enjoyed this project I certainly did just to let you know despite all the the pitfalls this game has been a landmark definitively in my commentary lifetime just I think this is one of the strongest projects I'll be able to point to and say you know what I did a fucking good job on this thing <sighs> anyway so everybody if I see you again or if I don't I really hope you had a great great time I'll see you in the next project either way because I'm gonna be starting up some new projects and all that leave a comment giving me your final thoughts. Don't feel bad about commenting as many times as you want. Give me long comments. Give me how you truly feel about this game. What the fuck? Just, what the fuck? So, in conclusion, everybody, I've been the Invisible Gunslinger, and this has been none other than Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream.